Hey, what's up everyone? Fear here with another video. Today we're going to be showing a gameplay and commentary of the new character Louie. Now, as a disclaimer right off the bat, I do have helium canister on him. This was uh, available to equip for a short period of time when he was released yesterday, uh, but I believe that it has since been removed, so you will not be able to equip helium canister on Louie like me. However, that being said, it is a very, very powerful item on him. As you can see, he has no cooldown on his active, making this um, extremely spammable and annoying. Um, essentially, you can keep everyone but ranged characters from attacking you, for the most part. You know, Buck might charge in, uh, of course, Bruce is uh, immune to knockback, um, but yeah, uh, the general build that most players are using at this time is some combination of Cluster Bomb, Vampire Teeth, Adrenaline Shot, and then for that fourth item, it's kind of optional. As you can see, I have Helium Canister, um, Nitro Bow is good, Coffee is good, Jungle Shoes, good choice. A lot of different uh, ways you can take Louie. Now, one important thing to note is that Louis doesn't have any mobility at all. He, he can simply move around and he has his rats to uh, block projectiles. These rats do not block uh, grenades or bombs and they can get one shot by anything. So you really need to be aware of, you know, who you're fighting. If you're fighting like a fuzzy, for example, you're not going to have a good time. You're going to get slowed. The rats aren't going to do much of anything. And uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're definitely hard countered there. And for that reason, it's of my personal opinion that this character needs some sort of buff somewhere. He just doesn't really fit in the meta. But that said, um, this is a gameplay and commentary video, not you know a discussion video on how I feel about him. Um, so we'll, we'll keep it uh, minimal. You know, we'll keep discussion of how he is as a character to a to a minimum. Um, kill that Duke there. I'm gonna look to kind of play it slow. Since Louis doesn't have mobility, it's very easy to get stuck in the fire. Looks like there's a fin nearby. Um, if you if if you're um, close to the circle or close to the the edge of the circle, I should say, it's very easy to get pushed in there because he doesn't have that that mobility that some other characters have. So for that reason, I recommend smartly playing within the center of the map. Um, as you can see, I'm clicking a lot on the mini map up top, constantly checking my position relative to the overall circle. And uh, again, you know, because of how weak he is, he has HP akin to Larry and Nyx, very low, a little higher than Lizzie, but still quite low. Uh, you definitely do want to play it a little safer. Um, you know, he's, he's not a character that is just hunt everybody down, you know, that's that's definitely not the play style, no matter what build you're using, no matter how high of a level you are. That said though, he can still be pretty deadly and um, pretty pretty powerful at taking most characters down. I think he shreds guards pretty well, uh, tanks, shellies, for the most part. You know, like I said, bruises and bucks, they don't have much uh, of an issue getting on top of you. So, um, Definitely need to pay attention to that. And this buck in particular, he's walking away, it looks like. Just want to check these health kits, make sure he's not walking over there. And we do take him out with that, that blind grenade. All right, so hopping into this next game, I want to talk a little bit more about how I feel the most optimal way to play Louis is. Uh, again, you know, you guys won't be able to equip Helium Canister. And as soon as I unequip it from him, I'll never be able to equip it again. Uh, either, unless they change the way uh, it interacts with his active ability. But that said, um, in general, I feel the best way to play Louie is to always keep your rats in front of you. They don't do a lot of damage, and it's kind of hard to get them on top of somebody due to the limited range and how slow they, they move relative to the overall pace of the game and other characters. Like, you know, good luck getting your rats on a molly. Um, but Keeping them in front of you can definitely block projectiles. You know, like this guard right here, he'll throw a spear and he just, as you saw, took one of my rats out. I didn't get hit at all. So uh, always try and keep the, the rats in front of you. I didn't do it much last game. I was just more talking about um, Louis in general, but this game I'll definitely do it a lot more. Um, that helium canister will go off. Very useful for keeping things off me. And just always kind of keeping the rats in front of you, making sure that if you do encounter somebody head on, 
you know, you, you don't take that initial shot. You know, here's a pepper coming in. He shoots, he's gonna hit one of the rats, not me. Uh, we got a couple people over here, but doing a pretty good job of kiting. And we're just kind of playing it safe, throwing grenades, you know. It's hard to escape once somebody gets on top of you because you just don't have that that mobility that most other characters have. I mean, even Bruce, he has mo mobility from his active and he has mobility from his spear dash. And you know, that's it's more than uh, it's more than Louis has. Miss Finn should be dead any second. It does die to the fire. So it looks like the legendary was just dropped. That's pretty late. Um, I guess that's another thing I didn't talk about yet. Louis, unless you're running coffee, and even then, um, even with coffee, he's still gonna die pretty easily because all he can do is run around. You know, he has no mobility to add and stack with that coffee, like a spear dash or something like that. Um, he's not that great for contesting the legendary guard. Like, yeah, you know, he has, you have his rats, so you can shred it pretty quickly, but given the fact that most people, um, well, not most people, but a lot of, of players every game will likely be contesting the legendary guard, it's not really a wise idea for you to contest as Louie, just simply because of how, how weak he is, um, even with coffee, because of that, that low mobility. Again, you know, high level, sure, you know, like, like me, I would definitely contest if I, thought of it this game i didn't think of it but uh yeah in general i do not recommend starting near the legendary guard at all as you're prone to being sliced up by bucks or um smashed by bruces uh for the most part you know even dukes and yeah uh looking to close out this game here this guy has the legendary grenade Let's see if we can get that from him looks like he's just gonna keep it in the fire though eh. I already have a gold bomb, so I'm not going to go for that. Kill this Larry here, though. And last Molly. Um, as far as early, mid, and late game go, I don't think there's too much of a, of a difference. Louis pretty uniform throughout in terms of that. I think um, early game, late, and mid, you know, all three, you're really just kind of walking around, um, keeping track of your position. I'd say position is the most important thing you can pay attention to on Louis. If you have good position, you have, uh, you definitely have a, a huge advantage over most players because a lot of people don't pay attention to position and I think that position is, is key for Louis given that he doesn't have the same mobility as, as other players, uh, as other characters rather. Okay, um, last game. We're gonna do some shout outs as usual, Q&A, all that good stuff. Shout out to RL Turbo, awesome video. Thank you, man, thank you. Um, Z Tevil Boy, can you make a Shelly video, please? Yes, yes, Shelly is coming. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, shout out to Renix. Hello, bro. Can you buy to me a thousand gems, please? Uh, I might do giveaways in the future, but uh, right now, um, that's it's not on the agenda at the moment. Running into a little, uh, a little scuffle there. Good thing we had a health kit, but um, just trying to <laughs> trying to pull the comments up. This Larry's pretty aggressive. He's gonna die to that. Doesn't realize that I had a health kit, I guess. Bruce gonna die too. <clears throat> Shout out to Whisper7, hey man, great vid again. What would you like to see in a next update? I would love to see Ollie getting a little buff and probably coin reward regarding in-game kills, keep it up. So I think that the way coins are awarded for um, fighting currently is, is pretty poor, it's almost insignificant. You know, it's like seven seven coins, I think, for winning. I'm, I'm not really sure, I haven't really paid attention. I just know it's pretty insignificant. Uh, but yeah, um, Ollie needs a buff for sure. I've I've recommended to the, the wildlife staff many times, and I've said Ollie's pretty weak. Um, it's definitely 
probably the weakest or one of the weakest characters in the game right now and uh, definitely needs a buff. So hopefully that's coming at some point. Shout out to Savage. Keep up the good work, Fear. Thank you, thank you. I'm trying to barrel this, kite this Bruce as best I can. He does have jungle shoes and this Shelly is getting pretty aggressive too. Okay, we're saved by that health kit. Shout out to Victor Mateos. What should I use on a fin? Uh, check out my fin video, buddy. I think I have a lot of info in that one. Shout out to Mole. Hey, Fear. Nice video as always. I thought that Joey going back was meant to be as he go back in his mother pouches. The bug I saw was when you killed Molly, but Joey stay around for a bit. By the way, it's Putinsky. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Shout out to you. Yeah, I think the the Joey running back to Molly, I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. Also, that spear was pretty crazy. Didn't expect anyone to be there. Uh, I, I think Joey should disappear immediately. I don't think he should continue blocking projectiles all the way as he runs back to Molly. Um, whether it was intended or not, I don't think that's how it should work. I just think that's just too broken. Looks like the last guy's in there. Uh, shout out to Bloodshot, love vids, keep up the work. What should I use on Shelly? Shelly video's coming, but you can check my profile for now on the leaderboards, just, um, Go to the global and you can check it out. Click my profile, see what I use on each character. Uh, shout out to Hyper Tony. I don't know how to use Molly. I play kind of aggressively, but should I as level nine? Oh, and what's the best character in the game? I don't think there's a best character in the game right now, but as far as strong characters go, I think Pepper's strong. I think Molly's strong. I think Lizzie is pretty strong. Uh, and duos, solos, not, not as much. Um, Duke is pretty strong right now. Uh, Louis, not so much. Um, for level nine, Molly, yeah, you can't really play it aggressively because you're, you know, relatively low level um, in the overall Zuba player level comparison, I guess. But you can definitely look for fights to take, you know, for from similar levels, and you can definitely uh, kite higher levels. You know, if there's like a level eleven, level twelve Bruce. Just keep throwing grenades and running away, and that's uh. That's what you should do with, with a level nine Molly. All right, uh, last few shout outs. Uh, shout out to Arena Beauty. Oh my gosh, I got a shout out. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries, thanks for the support. Uh, shout out to Best Pringle, love the vids, but hate Zuba's leveling system. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not going to go into that. I just want to comment that Zuba is definitely a pay to win structure. I don't think it's 100% pay to win. I think you can achieve a lot. Uh, as a free-to-play player without spending much money, but it definitely is structured like that. I do acknowledge that. Uh, shout out to Outcast. Also, sometimes Joey will take the items but won't bring them to you. Yep, that's another Molly bug. Hopefully that gets fixed soon too. All of these uh, Molly bugs, very frustrating. All right, guys, I think that's it for this video. Um, Nick's video should be coming out soon as well, and uh, hopefully you learned something. I'll see you guys soon. Happy hunting.